Hi folks, Gabe Garish here with Backwoods Pursuit, and today I want to show you how to set up the new Z-Pax Free Duo freestanding tent. This is Z-Pax new freestanding tent. It's a little bit different to set up than other freestanding tents that I've used, as well as different than most of the other Z-Pax tents that I have used. So I want to show you that real quick here in this video. I'll put a link to this down in the description for you so you can check it out for yourself, as well as a link to our social media, Facebook and Instagram and a link to our website, backwoodspursuit.com. There are a ton of other gear reviews over there. Go check that out. Uh, let's get started on how to set up the new Z-Pax Free Duo Tent. Now, as you'll notice, the pole sack comes separate from the, the tent itself. It's a little bit too long to fit in the bag that the tent comes in, uh, but it's all Dyneema material, as you expect with Z-Pax. So here's the poles. I've got some of the, the Z-Pax stakes as well here. All right, so once you've got the tent laid out, just like any other tent, you're gonna grab your poles. It comes with two, and they, they really go together easy, like a lot of your poles here. Just a, you got a couple hubs, one there, and then another one. So put all those together, and another hub right here. Really works quite easy, and just like anything else, these, of course, these are carbon poles, as you would expect. Now, so you, you'll have two of them that are identical, which is nice and makes it easy to set up so you're not having to figure out which goes on which end. So this right here is the, the top or bottom end of the tent. The doors are on the sides there. So when you're grabbing one of your poles here, my fr the first time I set this up, I did it wrong and I set this up like this, and that's incorrect. You wanna have these horizontal this way. And to, to get started, you're just gonna go ahead and put this down in the, the bottom little, uh, it's kind of like a little grommet. This is your little grommet here, and it's gonna go ahead and be put right on there like that. And that's the way it is across all of the, the grommets for this tent. So then you'll go ahead and do the same here on the two, the two bottom pieces there. So that's the top end. And then this is going to the grab here, and you're gonna go up to the top. As you can see here, this is the, the two grommets that house the two poles that we're gonna put on. So this is the first one, and we just put this on one right here. The other one's gonna come in from the other side right like this, and we'll show you that in just a second, but that's the way that that's going to go on. Now this is at the top of the tent right here. All right, now for the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I, again, have this pole horizontal to the length of the tent, and then go ahead and put this other one here in the top there, and put this pole in the top over here, and then that will stand the tent up, and I'll put them here on the bottom. So now we've got all the corners and here at the apex of the tent all put in there. We're gonna take these and we're going to latch them on right here to the horizontal piece. It's a pretty tight fit. And at first it kind of made me nervous, but that's the way it's supposed to be. And the, this Dyneema is real strong stuff. So that really gives you some great tension for this tent. So do that on all the way around on, there's one here, one there, and then two on the other side. Now for the doors, you've got these, uh, these cords right here that attach to the bathtub floor and they help you keep the floor pulled out so it doesn't get uh, to where it's moving around on you. Now you don't want to pull this too tight but you just want it to have a little bit of tension on there you want, but you want to leave yourself the ability to, uh, to tension the other side also so you're going to stake that out. I won't put it all the way in for purposes of demonstration here and then go ahead and clip in your door like that and like that. Then let's go to the other side. Now this is why I left myself some slack on the other side so I can just give that a little bit of tension but not much because you don't want to pull that floor too tight. So just give yourself a little bit there. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily want that floor to be pulled really side to side tight. Uh, I want to leave myself a little bit of room because obviously moving around inside the tent you don't want to rip the floor accidentally. So you're going to do that. Then go ahead and clip in here again. And then your doors are ready to go so you can give that a little bit of attention. Um, but we're going to we're going to now tension both of the top and the bottom with, with those line locks. Now for the top end of the tent, this is kind of like a, a, a bit of a triangle type of a setup here with a line lock at the top here. You're going to want to find the little black uh, piece of nylon cord here. That's what you're going to use for your stake. You're going to go ahead and stake that in. Of course, it doesn't have to be tight because you've got the line lock here to tension that down. You're going to pull out your, the sides here, get them where you want them to be and then you can go ahead and snug that down and that'll give the pull this away from the inside of the tent once you get that real snug and that'll help that it shed that rain or any moisture away from the inside of the tent so you're going to do this on the top and the bottom now for the bottom end of the tent this is kind of the end of the tensioning process here and grab the, the poles there and give them just a little tug not real tight but just tight enough to to make sure the inside the floor is going to be as snug like you like it again find your little black uh, piece of nylon there and put, uh, push that in and then you can tighten that down really well with your line lock just like you could there and that's going to keep that really, really 
snug. Now you have the option also of putting uh, four more stakes here, right there, right there, and the two on the top, so you can really stake this down for wind. Uh, but you really don't need to. It does really, really well with just the stakes on the top and the bottom and the two sides. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna go around and snug up all of the line locks here, all the way around to each of the sides. Make sure I get everything tensioned to the, just the way that I want it. And that'll really snug out everything uh, as far as the, the front end and the, the back end, the bottom end, as well as here, your, your doors and whatnot. And you can just see you get, really get a nice tension all the way around. I really like this Dyneema fabric. It's, it's just one of my favorite fabrics in the tent. And again, these are, are, the corners are not staked down, at least the way that I have it here. Now, if you know you're gonna have some high winds, certainly you can use those, those nylon cords right there and get that stake down if you want to. You know, it's not really gonna, gonna go anywhere unless you have some really bad winds. So that's how you set up the Z-Pax Free Duo tent. Hopefully that's helpful for you, get you out on the trail quickly. Again, I'll put a link to this down in the description for you if you're interested and want to check it out further. It's a great little tent, super lightweight, just about two pounds or under two pounds for a freestanding tent. So awesome tent. Thanks for joining us here today. We'll see you next time.